Hello friends, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and today's video, I'm going to tell you 5 things that you should not be doing on your Android device. Sounds interesting, right? So without any much further ado, let's get started. Now the one thing that you should not be doing on your Android device is kill apps for no reason at all. Now you must be wondering that in Windows you are free to kill apps to release some memory. But the thing on Android is that it's based on the Linux OS and Linux OS manages your memory very well. Now it might look like that killing apps will free up that RAM for you but then what's the use of RAM when you're not utilizing it. Killing apps will disrupt system performance and will degrade your phone's performance. So just say no to killing apps and furthermore if you want to dive deep in this topic don't worry I'll provide you with the links in the description of this video but right now let's move on to the second thing that you should not be doing. Clearing cache files might give you an impression that you have cleared a lot of files using those third-party app cleaners but then these cache files are very important for the apps to run. These are the necessary files that are built up by the apps when they are connected to the network and they only save the data and the processing type of your device. But then I'm not saying that you should not clean up your files, but then you should stay away from the apps that kills your cache. Installing dual antivirus is the third thing that you should be staying away from. Android doesn't even need an antivirus to be frank and the persistent checks done by Google on your devices is good enough and if you are downloading your app just from the Play Store, you don't even need one. But still, if you are installing one antivirus, that's more than enough. Installing two will only kill your memory and make your phone slow and sluggish. So for the fourth tip, I would like to advise you to stay away from those kind of apps that promises you to extend your RAM and also give you fast charging capabilities on your device. See, these things are hardware dependent and no software can fix that for you. If your phone comes with 3 GB of RAM, that's it. It's never gonna be 4 or 6 GB using any other app. Also about the charging time. If your phone does not support Qualcomm Quick Charge, no matter which app you install, it's gonna be the same. These apps, even though with their ratings are hoax, and just gonna spam your phone with ads. So just stay away. Last but not the least, the fifth thing that you are actually not doing is rebooting your phone periodically. You should reboot your device every second or the third day because it's gonna make your device faster. This tip is so important that many manufacturers have actually included the system setting wherein you can set the time where the phone will automatically reboot in the night mode. So friends, these were the things that you should not be doing on your Android device. And yes, don't forget to share this video because the other day I saw my dad killing apps which is not the right thing. And also if you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to the Guiding Tech channel for more of such informative videos. So that's all for today fellas. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then take care and have a wonderful day. Until then take care and have a wonderful day. Have a good job. मेरी मम्मी कड़ी है